Okay, so what we have here is a, a stupid example where I hover a button and some text appears. Now this isn't being done in CSS and of course the right way of doing it would be to use CSS and just adding a class and it'd be easier to debug. Um, but this is what the, uh, the hand we've been dealt. So when I inspect this, I need to, what I want to do is uh, fix uh, the border of this thing down there. So um, if I try and inspect, uh, let's grab that. Uh, I can't can't inspect the element, so I can't even get over it to hover. Um, so this is a trick that will get you uh, basically hang the browser part to allow you to debug using the dev tools. Um, so get the console open. Uh, the console has to be in a new window rather than a uh, tab window because you need to be able to focus to it using just the keyboard. So I'm going to hover over the uh, element in question. I'm going to use um, the kind of window tab uh, to move focus. And I'm going to type in debugger, which is now going to hang the browser from doing anything. And now no JavaScript can run. And I am able to inspect the element in question. So there it is. Um, I can make some changes to CSS and it will update. So this all kind of rely, uh, um, uh, relies on using the debugger to hang the browser, basically. Um, again, the DevTools needs to be open in your window because you need to move to it using the keyboard so that your mouse remains exactly where it is. Um, and I've tried this in Firefox, and um, Firefox actually triggers a, I guess, maybe it's a mouse blur or something triggers to say there is a mouse move and it's moved away from uh, this element so it doesn't actually uh, remain in place when I switch the focus to its dev tools. But that is how you debug an element that keeps on vanishing.